Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for coming. Um, about eight and a half years ago, I was on the playground. I believe I was in third grade. And I had overheard my good friends, uh, Cody and James, talking about a meeting that they were going to, you know, in whispers. And I got really interested. I was curious. What's the secret meeting you guys are attending? And th they explained to me, oh, it's Cub Scouts, and this is what we do, and this is where we meet. And about a week later, on a bike ride with my dad, I had, you know, asked him you know, about Cub Scouts, about Boy Scouts. And he was taken aback a little bit and pleasantly surprised that you know, I brought up this topic. And after we discussed it for a little while, in about two weeks after filling out all the paperwork, I attended my first Cub Scout meeting. And uh, since that day, I didn't think that I would be here today giving this presentation, but um, here we are. Um, the thing is, is as mentioned earlier, uh, scouting is very much a journey. And, um, you know, something I feel that's a little downplayed is the part of the, um, all the people that are behind us the whole time. Um, our parents, our fellow scouts, our scout leaders. Um, these people, when you fall, when you trip on a rock, they're there with a helping hand to help you up. They're there on the sidelines cheering for you. And they're there urging you and teaching you. When you come up on an obstacle that seems too big to surmount, they give you the skills to surmount that. Um, nowadays, I consider scouting to be a pretty incredible thing. Um, especially now in our fast-paced world where everything's interconnected. Scouting is one place that not only provides, but also cherishes and teaches and promotes uh, character, leadership, trustworthiness, and of course a love for the great outdoors. Um, I'll always remember my first camping trip, uh, which was a just very simple backpacking trip, just two miles down, you know, into a campsite, two miles back. And of course, this was one of the first times that I was away from home by myself, and my mom insisted that she pack my backpack. <laughs> and of course, you know, that, that, that day I arrived at the parking lot with a backpack that weighed around 50 pounds. <laughs> now, remember, I weighed 50 pounds. <laughs> so, you know, you can imagine that. But, um, and you know, I not... I, Hiking down was the easy part, but uh, once down there, I found myself not being able to hike back up. And uh, I'm still greatly thankful to Mr. Bowen and I believe Mr. Uh, Michaels for carrying my backpack up. <laughs> um, and from that day forward, uh, I became responsible for packing my own gear for uh, outing trips. Um, and uh, another uh, camping trip that will always stay with me is uh, Camp Rawl, where we met. It was a bunch of troops, and there was like a 10-15% chance of rain. And so I set up my tent for the very first time, and I got the rain cover out, and I'm thinking, ah, oh, it's only 10-15%, it's not going to be that bad. I'll just throw it on, if it rains, it'll drizzle. I wake up around 2 a.m. <laughs> in a thunderstorm. <laughs> Thunder, lightning, I look outside my tent window, it is complete chaos outside. And then something hits me. I shouldn't be able to look outside. My rain cover should be covering that window. <laughs> well, we never did find that rain fly. You know? uh, I had to actually leave my tent and go to a bigger one and stay with a friend. And in the morning, that tent was bent out of shape, completely flooded. And that camping trip taught me, you know, not only is it a good thing to be prepared, as the scout motto says, but if you're going to do a job, if you're going to take the time, you may as well do it right. And it's, um, it's through experiences like this, through camping trips, that not only do you learn interesting skills, but you also learn lessons that will stay with you throughout your life. Um, and so, with that, I would like to conclude by saying that um, scouting, with its outdoor programs, with its merit badges, and its commitment to community service, it instills a sense of trustworthiness, uh, reliability, character, into the young scouts of today. And it, uh, it raises them to be a voice of the future, the leaders of tomorrow, and husbands, fathers, that hold these virtues and values and that become beacons of honor and pride um, in a world that seems too much devoid of it sometimes. 
And with that, I would like to say thank you one more time to everyone who has been with me on my journey. My parents, and my scout leaders, and my fellow scouts. And I encourage you guys that are in the audience that are looking towards the top to keep going because um, the top is a lot closer than it seems. So thank you all very, very much.